Please, everybody. <clears throat> Mr. Foreign Minister, I, I welcome you here. We're really delighted to have you back, and I look forward to our continued conversation. The ongoing drawdown of ISAF forces in Afghanistan and also creates new challenges and new opportunities for cooperation. In pursuing this goal of a responsible end to the long war in Afghanistan, we have to ensure that Afghanistan successfully transitions into a period of stability and that past mistakes are not repeated. <coughs> Pakistan is therefore very keen to work together with the U.S. and other countries in the region to encourage an Afghan-led reconciliation pro process for a peaceful and stable Afghanistan. Pakistan has on its part paid a very heavy price in flesh and blood in fighting terrorism over the last decade and remains committed to bringing this fight to an end through all available means, both internally as well as regionally. Although the war in Afghanistan may be winding down, just as in the past, Pakistan will have to face the brunt of any instability that may engulf Afghanistan after 2014. The people of Pakistan have continued to sacrifice in this war against extreming elements, and despite its heavy toll on our people, Pakistan has supported the international community because a stable and peaceful Afghanistan is in the interest of the region and Pakistan. And I, I must say I take note of the progress that you, you cited. It remains essential for the United States and Pakistan to continue to find avenues of cooperation on counterterrorism, on nuclear security. We recognize that Pakistan is a vital partner in supporting a secure Afghanistan. And we know how closely Pakistan's own security is linked to Afghanistan's success. That's why addressing the threats posed to both Pakistan and Afghanistan by cross-border militancy is a key aspect of our conversations this week. Which will bear down on some of the topics that we've set aside. I will 